Hi, Maxie. Hi, Dan. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> Welcome to Hope at Home. Oh, I didn't see you sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is our last episode going into the season of Advent. Advent, from, that's right. From Thanksgiving and Compassion. That's right, that's right. Uh, it was Compassion Sunday, and we're going to learn a little bit about compassion today. I understand that uh, Barry Blue is going to be going to the Professor Oldman's uh, lecture on compassion. That'll be fun. I had no idea Professor Oldman That's allowed right. snakes into the lab. Well, well, I can't imagine a lab without snakes. Can I, you? I really can't either. And, I, or a lab without mice. And, uh, Whoa. <laughs> so, actually, what we're going to be doing for the next several weeks during Advent is we're going to meet, be meeting with you on uh, Zoom from uh, 10 o'clock till 10.30 every Sunday morning during Advent. And uh, then uh, we'll be seeing you later in our in some more episodes of, of Maxie and his friends, of course. Oh, so uh, so Maxie, you're going to be there for the Zoom? Oh, very good. Yeah. I would imagine, I don't know if we're going to be seeing a lot of our other friends for the Zoom, but I bet well, we are. Well, I hope we do. Yeah, they have to be there, don't they? And we also have another visit today with uh, Will and his bees. And oh, Will! Uh, yeah, yeah, I like him. We'll be seeing him later in the year, too, but... For Advent, we're going to be doing the Zoom meeting, the Zoom Children's Sunday School. It's going to be fun. It's going to have a lot of surprises and surprise gifts. Well, we're going to go see Barry Blue and see if he makes it to Professor's Lecture. Oh, Barry Blue. I love Barry Blue the racer. Do you like snakes, Maxie? Being a mouse and all? What a beautiful fall day this is. It's so gorgeous outside. And I Oh, hi, Barry. What's the hurry? I'm late. I can't imagine a blue racer being late, although I'm a late bloomer myself. Do you know how old I was when I wrote my first great play? Uh, no. Well, I haven't actually written it yet, but I have outlined it in my head. I'm sure to be famous in the field of begonia playwrights. It's about this beautiful yellow flower. Nobody understands her genius. Uh, okay, but but I, I've got to be... The flower is a great actor. She's never really done anything on the stage or screen, but her mirror doesn't lie. She has never seen such performance perfection anywhere else. Her favorite role is a princess from outer space. I, I'd like to hear about it, Miss Dill, but... But I'm late for... You see, the flower princess is taken prisoner aboard this huge spaceship commanded by the lizard general who freezes in fear when she confronts him. Imagine this scene. General Tarkin, I should recognize your foul stench the minute I came on board. And then later, she discovers her father has thorns, and she's already secretly the sister of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the, the, that sounds like an exciting story, Miss Dill, but I'm looking forward to the rest of it, too. But, but, but I'm late for a meeting with Professor Oldman. Oh, you really want to hear the rest of the story? When, when did your meeting end, say, uh, around four? Uh, yeah, that, that's about right. Uh, uh, see you then, Miss Dill. I promise. There's such a bright young snake, and obviously an excellent judge of great talent. Mm. Where did I put my mirror? Professor! Professor Oldman! Are you still here, Professor? Professor stepped out! Can I help you? Wow, are you a dodo? Guilty! I hope I didn't insult you. I, I was just surprised to see a real-life dodo. Oh, don't worry about it at all. I'm used to it. The professor tells me I'm the last of my kind. Wow. It's an honor to meet you. You're you're a real rare bird. One of a kind. Uh, uh, my name is Barry Blue. Why, thank you, Barry Blue. Sorry you missed the professor. Oh, so am I. He was going to give me a lecture on compassion. And I have no idea what compassion is. I'm late because I stopped to help Lovey Bunny find a necklace that she dropped down a deep, narrow hole. And, and then I ran into Daffy Dill. She wanted to tell me a story that she's writing, or I guess it's a play. Well, is it a good play? Well, she thinks it's a good play. 
and nobody ever wants to listen to her tell it. I just couldn't run away and, and make her feel bad. So I listened for a while, and, and then I told her I'd come back to hear the rest. Well, that was very kind of you. I suppose so, but, but I missed the professor's lecture, and now... I don't think I'll ever know what compassion is. Well, I think you know exactly what compassion is. Uh, I do? Yeah, compassion is all about helping others when they really need helping. You helped your bunny friend and when you crawled down a deep hole to find her necklace. And that's what compassion is? And you showed compassion by listening to Daffy Dill's story that nobody else wanted to hear. I'm sure that made her feel real good. Well, I guess it did. And before you came in here, I was feeling kind of sorry for myself about being the last of the dodos. And you said it was an honor to meet me and call me a rare bird, one of a kind. Well, that, well you are. Barry, that's even another way you show compassion. I feel real good now. You're the most compassionate snake I ever met. <laughs> well, thank you, Mr. Dodo. Hi. Call me Farley. Well, it, it's a pleasure to know you, Farley. And you're a great teacher. I, I hope that we can talk again some more sometime. But I, I promised Daffy Dill I'd, I'd come back to hear her, the rest of her story. So I'll see you later, okay? All right. So long, Barry. You know, I think even the professor could learn something from that fellow about compassion. And you can trust me on that. I'm a rare bird. Now today the bees are having a pretty good day. They're all very relaxed, very quiet, very happy. Which is a good thing for me because, well, hey, it's kind of like when your friends are having a bad day. You don't want to be around them. If you're, unless you're a good friend and you want to help fix the problem, but sometimes you can't do that. Bees are not that way. They kind of, if they're in a bad mood, there's nothing I can do to make that better for them. They just kind of need time to process and think about things, which sometimes people are like that, and that's not all bad either. Now, here's what the bees, this is what it looks like inside the hive. Inside the, each of those boxes, there are 10 frames that look like this. Now, on the outside, you may notice that it's kind of white. This is honey that the bees have capped, which means they've, they've taken nectar and sugar water and all kinds of stuff, and they've everything they do to make honey, and they have taken it and stored it in there and dried it down, gotten the water out so that it's lots of sugar in there. Bees need the sugar, you know, we need we need some carbohydrates in our diets. Well, that's the bees' carbohydrates is honey. And they've stored it in this comb that they've built. And they've capped it so it's sealed. So it's kind of like, um, you might know people that can things. Well, that's kind of the bees' version of that. And in the middle, where it's bright yellow here, those are actually baby bees. The queen lays an egg. And so there might be a one egg in each of these cells and it, that egg will grow for the bees feed it for seven days and after seven days they make these little coverings over the cells that you see and in some of these other cells you won't see them because they're very tiny there are eggs and when they cover those cells the bees grow inside for another two weeks and after so about three weeks after the eggs laid the baby bees hatch and they'll live inside the hive for another three to four weeks. And they're just kind of hanging out in there. And they are, in this side, they are busy storing honey in there and capping the cells when they have the honey dried down. So these girls are all being very nice and very gentle and very happy. So we're going to put them back in their hive. They are doing everything that they are supposed to do. Well, Maxie, we've come to the end of another fine adventure right here at home. Yes, we? we did, didn't we, Maxie? <laughs> and it's time for us now to say so long, and we will be seeing you next week, remember, on our Zoom 
meeting, our Zoom Sunday School, and we're going to enjoy that, I'm sure, for all four weeks of Advent. Four weeks of Advent in Zoom with Maxie Mouse and all your friends. That sounds really fun. All right. Okay. Well, let's together say go in peace, shall we? All right, count of three. All right. Maxie, one, two, three. Go, go in, in peace. peace.